So the next time you sit down for a couple of hours to watch a movie, don't forget to follow the leader's journey during the experience. Hey everybody, Pierre Quinn here, and I teach leaders like you how to courageously begin the journey to personal and professional transformation. And in this video, I wanna give you five movies that I would use to talk about leadership if I was teaching a leadership course this semester. So, let's go. If you're new to my channel, there's some things that you just don't know about me. You don't know that my speaking, that my podcast, that my training, that my consulting, and this channel all revolve around leadership. You also don't know that I spent almost a decade teaching college courses. I taught a hybrid communication course that was part introduction to public speaking, part introduction to human communication, and much of that course was built around a group project where students had to figure out how to work together. I also taught an interpersonal communication course that spoke about power dynamics and a leader's relationships, and I also taught a business communication course. I loved teaching college courses. I love watching my students grow and mature and become more confident in their communication over the course of a semester. And part of my success as a speaker comes from my experience in the classroom. I'm not teaching any college courses right now, but I wanted to give you five movies that would be under strong consideration to include in my course curriculum. Movie number one, The Count of Monte Cristo. The Count of Monte Cristo is the story of a hardworking man by the name of Edmund Dantes, and all he wants to do is captain his own ship and take care of his fiance. The movie is a story of betrayal, of deception, and surviving a sense of hopelessness. There are two strong themes that I would discuss with my students if we were watching Count of Monte Cristo this semester. One of those themes would be the crucible of leadership, that intense situation, that paradigm, that framework that develops leaders or calls people to fall back from the idea of being leaders altogether. Another strong theme in The Count of Monte Cristo is the power of mentorship. And you watch the growth of the main character as he is mentored by a central figure in the story. The second movie that would be under strong consideration for me to discuss with my students if I was teaching a leadership course this semester would be Remember the Titans starring Denzel Washington. Remember the Titans is the story of TC Williams High School in Virginia, the integration of that school and the integration of that football team and how Coach Boone, Coach Herman Boone, led his team over the course of that year. Two strong themes in that movie would be leading in crisis, and the crisis in that movie are the racial tensions of the day, and also emotional intelligence, how leaders should respond to the emotional journey of those around them. It's a great movie, and especially considering everything going on in the world right now, I'm sure you can draw a lot of insight and apply it to leadership when you watch it. A third movie that I would consider sharing with my students if I was teaching a leadership course this semester would be The Great Debaters. Now, The Great Debaters is also starring Denzel Washington. It's the story of the Wiley College debate team. Denzel Washington's central character comes on the scene to teach debate and also to mentor the debate team. And the debate team has huge aspirations of debating at the most prestigious place in the land as a debate team, and that is Harvard. University. Now some strong themes come out in this movie as well. One of the themes is leadership transitions. You find at different stages in the movie that people take up the role as the leader and you watch how that transition moves from one person to another. Another strong theme in the movie is this idea of failure, shame, and redemption. For several of the leaders in the story, you see them have an opportunity to change, to make a difference, to lead in the right direction, but they fail the shame they experience as a result of that failure, and then the redemption that happens for them as a result of future decisions that they make. A fourth movie that I would consider sharing with my students if I was teaching a leadership course this semester would be The Matrix. That's right, the cult classic, The Matrix. Now, I remember being a senior in high school in 1999 when The Matrix came out. I remember watching The Matrix on my senior class trip. Nearly every time they played The Matrix,
Matrix on television, I can't help but watch it. So many themes, so much analysis has been done about the Matrix, and here is how you can use it to discuss leadership. Two strong themes that I wanna share with you. The first theme is that of leadership expectations. How do you wrestle with the expectations, that mantle, that weight that's placed on you when you assume a leadership responsibility? A second strong theme in the movie is the power of vision. How can you help the people that you're leading get a glimpse of the vision that you have? And then how can you rally them in their strengths and their gifts to work toward that unique vision? A fifth movie that I would consider sharing with my students if I was teaching a leadership course this semester would be The Greatest Showman starring Hugh Jackman. The Greatest Showman is a fictional account of the story of P.T. Barnum and the creation of his circus. It's a bit of a musical, so hopefully you're into that sort of thing, but there's some strong themes that come out in the movie. One of those themes is leadership ethics and how do you develop an ethical framework as a leader and how is that ethical framework challenged as your organization grows? The second strong theme that I would discuss with my students is leadership culture, how culture is developed, how it's navigated, and how if leaders aren't careful, they can sabotage the strong culture that they've built. Every movie tells a story and you can leverage nearly any movie to teach the principles of leadership. So the next time you sit down for a couple of hours to watch a movie, don't forget to follow the leader's journey during the experience. So I wanna hear from you. If you're teaching a leadership course, what movies would you consider showing your students? Even if you don't teach leadership courses, share in the comment section a movie suggestion that would make a great discussion starter on the topic of leadership. I can't wait to read your suggestions, watch those movies, and gain even more insight about what it takes to be an effective leader from the whole experience.